All right, you free thinkers, J.R. Dukes here coming at you with another video. We have another important video to get to, and it's directly from the president or former president of the United States, Donald Trump. And without further ado, we're going to dive right into it. The same people that raided Israel are pouring into our once beautiful USA through our totally open southern border at record numbers. These are the same people, many of them, that did a number in Israel, a sneak attack. Same people we have pouring into our country by the thousands. Are they planning to attack within our country? Crooked Joe Biden and his boss, Barack Hussein Obama, did this to us. We cannot let this happen. They may be planning something very, very bad. Don't forget, I'm not making this as a prediction, but there's a phrase out there, Trump was right about everything. We have to be very careful. I don't want to be right about this, but people are pouring in from the Middle East into our country, largely males, strong young males. What's going on over here? Are we going to be raided like Israel was raided? All right. So that was directly from the former president, Donald Trump's Facebook page today. So a brand new video. And as you can see, it's part of his ongoing 2024 presidential campaign series. Now, I want to talk about this video and I'm interested in your comments. So any comments you have, anything you'd like to talk about, please take a moment, put them down in the comment box below and let's talk about it. Also, by the way, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. I definitely appreciate it. So according to the Heritage Foundation, the Biden administration has been instructing aliens, people that are trying to come across the country illegally, not to enter simply by walking across the border. According to the Heritage Foundation, they're telling the illegal aliens, hey, you need to go to what's called the port of entries, which would basically mean a legal way to get into the country. They're instructing these illegals when they get to the port of entry to go ahead and claim that they have some kind of fear, that there's a reason why they're running from the country that they're from. For example, they uh, are afraid of persecution. They're afraid that they can't practice their religion. There's gangs that may kill them if they go back. They're actually coaching these aliens on exactly what to say and how to say it so they can get legal, legally admitted to the country. They also instruct them on the app called the Mobile One app, which is an app put out by the United States government for aliens that are seeking political asylum or some kind of asylum in our country. This is one of the tricks the Biden administration has been using to make it look like the number of illegals crossing into the country has been going down, when in reality it has been drastically going up. Published reports say, as of the making of this video, 90,000 aliens are coming across our borders every month. Other reports say it's approximately 1.226 million, 1.226 million aliens a year coming into our country. These individuals are not fully vetted. Most of these individuals are young males. And as you can hear our former president talk about in his speech he just gave, this is very concerning. Do you want to see what happened in Israel to happen to our country? It very well could happen. If you don't believe me, just simply turn on the news and look at all these idiots, all these young kids at these campuses that have been indoctrinated, going around with signs, screaming death to Israel, screaming that Israel is responsible for this carnage, for these terrorist attacks that have been going on. If you don't believe me, just think back to 09-11, New York City. What a terrible, dark time that was. It has happened before, and if it continues, it's very likely to happen again. We have to have some kind of border, or we don't have a country. It's just that simple. We can't afford to take everybody in with open arms. There has to be some kind of legal process. Most of you may or may not remember President Ronald Reagan. At the time, I was just a kid. I remember when he was essentially duped into giving, I think it was approximately 40 million aliens at the time, illegal and otherwise, that were in the United States as of, let's say, 1986. He went ahead and gave them a blanket amnesty and said, you are now a U.S. citizen. In return, the Democrats promised, the Democrats promised then President Ronald Reagan that they would seal the border. 
obviously the Democrats did not live up to their end of the bargain. And here we are again, 40 some years later, boom, we're right back in the middle of this. We have a ton of aliens, illegal and otherwise, living in our country. And something's got to be done about this. You can't have people just living here in this legal limbo. It's not fair to the aliens. It's not fair to our now citizens here in this country. Something has to be done and something has to be done immediately. It's really odd, kind of humorous, that all of a sudden our dear President Biden now is going to go ahead and build 20 miles worth of border fence that was already allocated during the Trump administration. Remember, when Biden first came into office, one of his first acts right after killing our oil industry was to kill the wall being put up at the southern border between Mexico and the United States. At the time, the president was outraged that a, boor, uh, that a border wall was being built and he stopped it cold. There was literally, literally $500 million worth of wall material, worth of metal plates to actually build the wall that was actually being stepped on and walked over by the aliens coming across the border. Just an absolute outrage. What in the world is going on? Now, President Biden has done a complete 180, and he's like, oh, for 20 miles, we are going to go ahead and build a wall. Well, why is that? Let me tell you what's going on. All of a sudden, we got wise, or I should say some of the Republican governors, especially the Texas governor, and they started shipping, started busing aliens to New York City, Chicago, and some of these other very liberal, quote-unquote, safe havens. As it turns out, when the aliens start flooding in, by the way, just a percentage of what places like Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and California deal with on a daily basis, all of a sudden they're screaming uncle to the president saying, please help us. We cannot continue doing what we're doing. It's killing our city. It's going to kill our economy. Funny how they're no longer a loving, open arm, liberal city. Now they have a complete different change of tune. Just check out New York's sweet mayor. He was on TV just the other day screaming that they cannot handle any more aliens coming in. Something to the effect of his city is on the verge of collapse. Outrageous and hilarious. At any rate, it is extremely ironic how things turn around and things change. I definitely appreciate you joining me today, my friends. I want you to always keep that free mind. And until next time, I am J.R. Dukes.